New stock right now is below $6.50 per share, but I tell you that the scenario for $650 per share is already happening. Now, before we get started, I want to remind you guys about a quote that Neo CEO said, and that is, just because a product is selling well right now does not guarantee that it will sell well in the future. And likewise, just because a product may not be delivering a ton of vehicles right now does not mean it will not deliver a ton of vehicles in the future. Of course, this is obviously a reference to Lee Auto, which is selling cars with gasoline, electric vehicles with gasoline, which is just, you know, the cheat code and selling a ton of vehicles uh, doing really good on the earnings. But they also have to eventually shift to pure EVs. And where is their competitive advantage when they shift to pure EVs when they can't use the cheat code gasoline? Something to think about. But of course, the scenario for 650 a share has nothing to do with electric vehicles, actually. Remember when I made this video a while back, CCP 650 per share ultimate plan revealed it has everything to do with power. And even right now, a lot of people here in China are saying Neil is actually becoming more of a power company and not uh, an EV uh, automobile company. All right. They used to think that Neil is an automobile company that sells cars, but also makes swap stations and, and power solutions. But now people think of Neil more as a energy company that also sells cars. That's an interesting way of looking at it. And just recently, you guys probably heard about the news, over in Denmark, one swap station, they started stabilizing the grid, earning money by doing so. And this is exactly where things are headed. And that is just one swap station, my friend. And today, just today, here in China, Neil signed a strategic agreement with the uh, Southern China power grid, uh, which is quite amazing. Also for buildup of swap stations and also for stabilizing the grid, earning money that way as well. You guys got to understand what Neo represents. Just recently, all right, just recently during Chinese New Year, there are so many Neos. There were so many Neos that drove over 2,000 plus kilometers, some of them doing it nonstop. Now, I drove 2,000 kilometers, but I stopped. I drove it through four days, but there were some that drove in 24 hours nonstop. And that was a combination of swap stations and also the LiDAR system, NEO's NOP Plus. And that really made driving 2,000 kilometers nonstop possible. Otherwise, there's fatigue. And then there's also you got to spend time on charging, which is just absolutely inconvenient. And it turns out that Neo is actually one of the only cars that you can do that. All right. Gasoline vehicles lack the autonomous driving capability to drive that far, whereas traditional EVs, other EVs like Tesla's, they might be able to do it with the software. They have the software capability, but they need to be charged and that spends uh, wastes a lot of time. And you're thinking also maybe potentially hybrids. Well, the thing with uh, EREVs right now is the fact that uh, if you go really fast on the highway, the generator cannot output enough power to satisfy the electric motors. So you are speed limited with those EREVs like the auto, etc. So they actually cannot drive uh, for a prolonged period of times at high speeds. The battery goes down and when the battery is empty you are just in big trouble you're basically stuck at a very low speed basically and you have to charge the car even gasoline is not sufficient because you have to charge the car get the battery up because remember the car erev still run on electricity the gas is just there to generate more electricity but they can't generate enough electricity to fulfill the the current demand when they're going at high speeds so that's a huge problem and that just means that neo is actually the only car capable of driving that far autonomously without brakes quite crazy right quite crazy uh, 
this is something that you guys probably did not know about. And it just really is what the swap stations represent. You see charging stations, you see gas stations, and you see swap stations at the highway resting areas. Swap stations not only are the future of gas stations, what gas stations will be in the EV age, but also for energy storage and stabilizing the grid and earning money that way. Swap stations will be the gas station equivalent of all EVs in the future with all these partnership brands uh, that NEO is collaborating with. And you guys gotta understand, as we shift more and more into the EV age, gasoline vehicles are gonna get phased out and these uh, hybrid vehicles, so-called hybrid vehicles, there's already big restrictions in Shanghai, in Beijing as well. You basically, even if you wanna buy a Li Auto or a hybrid, it's very difficult, all right? You gotta have a gasoline license plate permission to buy one of them. Harder to purchase. And imagine if this kind of rule gets rolled out the rest of the country where it's essentially much harder to buy these hybrid EREVs, gas chuggers, and you're forced to buy electric vehicles. Slowly by then you'll see that really these, these uh, EREV guys, they have no competitive vent. They got no moat. What is gasoline their moat? Is a big screen, a, a sofa, a fridge their moat? They got no moat to be honest. Neo is one of the only companies that has a very strong definitive moat that is battery swap and it's going to be generating a ton of passive income for Neo in the future and also quite recently just today you guys probably heard about it in the news uh, Neo signed agreement with 47 which is a subsidiary of CYVN and that, in my opinion, I think is going to be how Neo sells their cars in United Arab Emirates. So 47 is probably going to take over all the operations for uh, for selling the cars in the UAE. And so it's basically like the UAE guys, they invested into Neo, right? They put in all the money. So in return of investing and pouring billions into Neo, they're going to use that, what they have, and sell cars there under Neo's brand and they would essentially sort of own the Neo brand there, which is I think very interesting, very good move I think. Operationally speaking, they probably know the market more than Neo does. So very, very good. I think that's very good. Also guys, you gotta remember Neo has a lot of money in the bank. There's no need for price cuts at the moment. They, they might have be forced to inevitably do it, but they have a lot of money in the bank and the bankruptcy fears and all that kind of stuff is completely unwarranted. There's no way that Neo is gonna go bankrupt. There's definitely gonna be a company that will rather buy them out than let Neo go bankrupt. And something that I wanna let you guys in on, all right? So, I, and actually, there's, there's some shit that I'm holding back, all right? On my shoulders, kinda don't wanna talk about it. I'm holding it back from you guys. I kinda feel guilty doing so, but I think making that video go public will actually be quite negative, but it is the truth. But uh, I, want you, I want to let you guys in on something else. And this is something that the Neo owner of 23 Neo told me. This is the fact that uh, you gotta think about what's the purpose of Neo. The, the purpose of Neo isn't even to earn money to be profitable all right according to him like the ceo's purpose all right of course having healthy margins is very important but the ultimate goal isn't just to earn money otherwise they wouldn't do all the things that they're doing right now the ultimate goal is of course to build something much much bigger than just a car company all right power company lifestyle company smartphone company technology company with chips everything all right essentially the apple of china basically so they're aiming for much more massive growth the profitability aspect is put essentially in the side seat uh healthy margins are important but you got to see where they're going for all right ultimate scenario for 650 dollars per share you know all these swap stations here in china also in europe uh, and maybe uh, UAE and maybe even in America helping stabilize the grid. You know, that's going to be massive, massive amounts of just passive income every single day. And also, if you're going in the EV age, all right, EV age swapping is definitely superior to charging than just charging. So NEO's vehicles or NEO's partner's vehicles able to both swap and charge definitely 
the superior option. You know, new power swap station is pretty much going to be the standard. Earning passive income by stabilizing the grid and also becoming basically gas stations in the future. So that's something to think about. That's why NEO will go to $650 per share. As always, stay safe, stay healthy, peace out.